James Webb Space Telescope discovers another sun bigger than 40 times our sun. A remarkable cosmic sight is revealed in a new image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. At least 17 concentric dust rings are seen mysteriously emanating from a pair of stars. Collectively known as Wolf Ray at 140, the duo is located just over 5,000 light years from Earth. What are these Wolf Ray at? Wolf Rayet, often abbreviated as WR, stars are unusual stars that are very massive, over 40 times the mass of our Sun, extremely hot, from 20,000 K to around 210,000 K, and exceptionally bright. Wolf Rayet stars were discovered in 1867 by C. J. Wolf and G. Rayet. These stars continually eject their outer atmosphere in bubble-like shells of particles and gas, creating a strong stellar wind. About 500 of these stars have been catalogued thus far in the Milky Way. How Wolf Rayet formed. Each ring was formed when the stellar winds, streams of gas they blow into space, from the two stars collided as they approached one another, compressing the gas and generating dust. About every eight years, the stars' orbits bring them together, the dust loops mark the passage of time, much like the growth rings on a tree trunk, Ryan Lau said. We're looking at over a century of dust production from this system. The image also illustrates just how sensitive this telescope is. Before, we were only able to see two dust rings, using ground-based telescopes. Now we see at least 17 of them. Lau is an astronomer at NSF's NOIR lab and lead author of a new study about the system. Webb's overall sensitivity, that is mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, is uniquely qualified to study the dust rings, or what Lau and his colleagues call shells, because they are thicker and wider than they appear in the image. Webb's science instruments detect infrared light, a range of wavelengths invisible to the human eye. MIRI detects the longest infrared wavelengths, which means it can often see cooler objects, including the dust rings, than Webb's other instruments can. MIRI's spectrometer also revealed the composition of the dust, formed mostly from material ejected by a type of star known as a wolf rayet star. MIRI was developed through a 50 to 50 partnership between NASA and ESA, European Space Agency. A wolf rayet star is an O-type star, born with at least 25 times more mass than our sun, that is nearing the end of its life, when it will likely collapse and form a black hole. Burning hotter than in its youth, a wolf rayet star generates powerful winds that push huge amounts of gas into space. The wolf rayet star in this particular pair may have shed more than half its original mass via this process. Forming dust in the wind. Transforming gas into dust is somewhat like turning flour into bread. It requires specific conditions and ingredients. The most common element found in stars, hydrogen, can't form dust on its own. But because wolf rayet stars shed so much mass, they also eject more complex elements typically found deep in a star's interior, including carbon. The heavy elements in the wind cool as they travel into space and are then compressed where the winds from both stars meet, like when two hands need dough. Some other wolf rayet systems form dust, but none is known to make rings like wolf rayet 140 does. The unique ring pattern forms because the orbit of the wolf rayet star in WR 140 is elongated, not circular. Only when the stars come close together, about the same distance between Earth and the Sun, and their winds collide is the gas under sufficient pressure to form dust. With circular orbits, wolf rayet binaries can produce dust continuously. Lau and his co-authors think WR-140's winds also swept the surrounding area clear of residual material they might otherwise collide with, which may be why the rings remain so pristine rather than smeared or dispersed. There are likely even more rings that have become so faint and dispersed, not even Webb can see them in the data. Wolf Rayet stars may seem exotic compared to our sun, but they may have played a role in star and planet formation. When a Wolf Rayet star clears an area, the swept up material can pile up at the outskirts and become dense enough for new stars to form. There is some evidence the sun formed in such a scenario. Using data from MIRI's medium-resolution spectroscopy mode, the new study provides the best evidence yet that wolf rayet stars produce carbon-rich dust molecules. What's more, the preservation of the dust shells indicates that this dust can survive in the hostile environment between stars, going on to supply material for future stars and planets. The catch is that while astronomers estimate that there should be at least a few thousand wolf rayet stars in our galaxy, only about 600 have been found to date. According to Patrick Morris, an astrophysicist at Caltech in Pasadena, California, and a co-author of the new study, even though wolf rayet stars are rare in our galaxy because they are short-lived as far as stars go, it's possible they've been producing lots of dust throughout the history of the galaxy before they explode and form black holes. I think with NASA's new space telescope we're going to learn a lot more about how these stars shape the material between stars and trigger new star formation in galaxies. More about the mission. The James Webb Space Telescope is the world's premier space science observatory. 
It will solve astronomical mysteries in our solar system, look beyond to distant planets orbiting other stars, and probe the enigmatic structures and origins of our universe. That's it for the day. Stay curious and keep exploring.